And there's a, an article in the Washington Times just today uh, which makes a comment about uh, dozens of sales uh, known to the top officials of the PRC going to Pakistan. And this is not the first occasion. This has been a pattern which goes back many years. And uh, the State Department under the last administration and for some time has really backed down, not wanting to make a, not wanting to make a point about it. And uh, of all of the issues of concern between the United States, or as the United States has with the People's Republic of China, that is the, uh, that is the most significant. And if there's to be uh, a long-term working out of problems, and if we're to maintain the uh, preferential trade status, that's going to have to be resolved. For the students, I came away with... John Jimin must understand that it's not in China's interest or our interest or anyone's interest, including North Korea's interest, to have a long-range missile capacity. And that he should be talking to our friends in North Korea, as well as Mr. Putin is, and as well as we are, that there is no benefit for such a development. If such a development occurs, in spite of a genuine attempt to reach a verifiable accommodation that that will not occur, then I think you will see there will probably be enough votes in the United States Senate to support a limited nuclear defense. What topic came up? I believe there would be a much greater willingness on the part of Taiwan to accept some of the entrees made by um, Beijing if they believed they were heartfelt and believed that they could be trusted. Conversely, I believe Beijing would have a very different attitude about Taiwan and Taiwan's future if they had a clear understanding of the American position relative to Taiwan. China is not our enemy. There is nothing inevitable about China and the United States not being as cooperative as any other two nations in the world. 